Welcome to Animator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to be talking about Ed and His Dead Mother, which delightfully stars Steve Buscemi. Very happy about that. Um, so the movie starts out in the present, which is in black and white, where Ed is on trial for chopping up his mother's head, to which he responds, she was already dead, so it's really not that big of a deal. And then pretty much the entire movie is a whole flashback in color. We find out that Ed unfortunately lost his mother almost a year ago, and he's really not dealing with it very well or very healthy. So he lives with his creepy, creepy uncle who likes to stare at the neighbor across the street getting undressed with a telescope and offers like pretty pervy sex advice. Very, very uncomfortable. Ed is also the beneficiary of mom's $60,000 life insurance and the family business, which is a hardware store. Ed is approached by a representative of the Happy People Corporation who keeps trying to sell him on life. Not necessarily reanimation in so many words, but it is. And for a sum of $3,000 which it ends up being because she's in a lot of pieces and was an organ donor. We can give your mother life. Obviously, he's going to accept that because he really misses mom, really wants her back, and uh, that's what he gets, kind of. He finds out, unfortunately, that he has to keep giving her life in the form of, I think, cockroaches, like little lives, kind of like... Uh, that guy in, what was it, Bram Stoker's Dracula, where he could only take little lives? It was Renfield. Made me think of that. But, of course, the little lives are not enough for Mother, as we find out, and things just kind of keep going downhill. This is all happening while Ed starts to fall for the neighbor that the aforementioned creepy uncle was kind of peeping on, who pretty much throws herself at him and uh, this burgeoning love while he's trying to keep mother a secret because it does seem like a small town where everyone kind of knows everyone's business and they all obviously know that she's no longer with us and that's going to take a lot of explaining. I'm going to stop it right there as this is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? I love Steve Buscemi. So that was really nice to see him in this. I believe it's an early 90s movie. I'll put all that information in the box down below when I find out. I thought it was a really cool concept that there's a whole corporation that's kind of in the business of giving the recently deceased or not so recently deceased in this case life. And there was a conversation between the one representative that Ed deals with and whom we assume is his boss saying, well, you really got to get on this. You know, they're already starting to develop better reanimation stuff in this country and that country. So come on, get that money. Mom left him $60,000. You can get that easy. I, that's not really a concept you see a lot. It's more, you know, where my heart is with uh, Dr. Herbert West, who creates a serum to bring the dead back to life, not so much, you know, a corporation. That was pretty cool. My dislikes. Um, I understand this was a horror comedy, and I don't know if maybe something was lost in time with the humor, but some of it I was just like, there's a slow-mo shot of his mom chasing a dog with like a fork and a knife. Like, could you spell it out anymore? I understand that's supposed to be funny, but I was just like, eh, I don't know. And for something that, like, part of the description said horror, I was expecting to see, like, maybe just a little gore. Just, like, a tiny, you didn't get any. There was none. There's really no gore. There was, um, <sighs> like, they, they alluded to the fact that someone gets chainsawed up. And, uh, alluded that mom got her head cut off, which she does, but they don't really show it. They, I think, briefly show 
the outline in the night of her decapitated head. Just nothing... I like gore, guys. What can I say? I was a bit disappointed by that. Um, I will give it like a 2.5 or a 3 out of 5. I did feel like there was some pacing issues that some of it didn't need to be in the movie. They could have just cut it out. It could have been a bit shorter and still have the same storyline because the stuff that could be cut out, like really, you, there's a visit from an aunt and uncle that was completely unnecessary that could have been cut out where mom almost ate the tiny dog, but then didn't eat the tiny dog. And it just, I don't know, seemed like filler for at least five minutes. There was a couple other scenes that were like that. There was a really long, awkward scene of Steve Buscemi on like the outside swing waiting for the hot neighbor to come back and he's like trying to position himself and like, uh, like get, you know, ready for it or whatever. Cause she went to go freshen up and they were making out. So he was just like, Oh, and it was super awkward. Very awkward, which I kind of liked. Um, so yes, I found this movie on the Tubi app. That is T U B I. It's a app I have through Amazon my fire stick. I will put in the description box down below if it is available on any other streaming platforms or in physical copy. I never heard about this movie before. I found it just like flipping through trying to figure out something to watch. So I don't know if it's really well known or if it's just kind of lost in time, but you can find it somewhere at least if you look really hard. Um, as always, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? What's your favorite Steve Buscemi movie? I love Airheads also. That's an amazing movie. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Also, my solo and my reviews with the groom are available in podcast form via the Farsighted Networks on iTunes. Also, please check out their page on Facebook, the Farsighted Network. And uh, there's some suggestions for videos over here that you may want to check out. And please don't forget to subscribe. And um, yay, Steve Buscemi!